What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back, ready to continue on. So at the end of the last episode, I did knock out a couple things that were kind of minor. I uh, handed over the neoprene, or neozoprene, or however the hell you say it, and I got a couple of points of interest. I uh, checked out most of them. It was just little bits of experience, and I got a bunch of passwords for stuff that I haven't found yet. Uh, but that was cool. Got um, a nice little chunk of credits out of one of them. Uh, sold a bunch of stuff, of course, as well. That helped uh, to get me up where I'm at now. Uh, as for our loadout, we are going to be keeping the sniper, the assault, the shotgun, and the pistol. Kind of organized everything up a little bit as well, even though it's going to all get disorganized to shit soon anyway. But regardless, let's continue on with the case. The one thing I found which was probably the, the most interesting, uh, after I did one of the points of interest, I was out back just mucking around and there was a garage there and uh, hacked into one of the garages and inside of it there were a bunch of pictures of me and Vega like when we were meeting. So somebody is spying on Jensen. Don't know who, but somebody is. And real fast, I'm going to turn that off just so it stops popping up. So, what do you got, Smiley? Oh, hey. Adam, what's going on? Miller sent me to. Checking my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So... Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. And get this, it's a Stanic. A Stanic? The Bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Static watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Mm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanik, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Thanks, I'll check it out. Great, let me know how it goes. I mean, he did good work, but honestly, Smiley's going to need to watch that tone before he catches the back of this bionic hand. All that greatness takes time. Like, you best chill your shit, little man. I saved your ass when you were useless in the investigation. Don't be coming at me with that lip. Put him down like a rabid dog. Nothing's wrong with me. Oh, shit. Was that another bomb that just went off? Jesus. Uh, so that's the other mission. It's this way. I mean. It sounded like a bomb that just went off. What are the police? You want to hear another one? The clockman's clock is ticking. Good one. Come on, let's blow this place. Hey, I'm the funny guy, not you. <laughs> Private discussion, Hansen. Hey, I'm the funny guy, not you. Talking about the clock man, that worries me a little bit. Well, they're just a couple of douches. I can knock them out. Need be without much issue. Uh, so right above me. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. The 
come on, come on. One. No. Oh, not gonna get it in time. Let's try again. Access granted. Really break into this house for some crafting parts. That's it. I mean, there's some booze, but I don't need booze. That failed miserably. I actually find it's really hard for me to jump between ledges in this game for some reason. Busted open. The rest of the house doesn't look like it's in disarray. Somewhere there's a switch. I could. I feel like this is where I need to get into. Because there's where this computer's at. I don't see any access point into there, though. Somebody obviously just came by. This game is so unrealistic. Look how clean these ducks are. It's bullshit.
Trace program initiated. Access granted. Allison attacked me. I'm deeply concerned for our well-being right now. And yours is smash. She's dangerous. I'm sorry, no map. I had to report the incident. Hmm. Radage. Dying. Fuck that. Smiley, Static wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb making equipment and a trap set by the Divali. You're kidding. I also found out where he might be. The Red Light District. At a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. We'll pick up this. Oh, come on. You're two Paxis? Hang on a second. Come on, kitty. Stop it. I don't know why. Why my cat insists on always being a pain in the ass when I'm recording. Maybe it's just the nature of cats. Um... Damn, I need to save. I need to get that rebreather. Just because there's the one area I need the rebreather to access. And then on top of that, it'll just come in handy. Uh, there's a point of interest here as well. I'm going to go in the Red Queen first. Hey, girl. How do I get in? Get lost. This place is not for you. Turn around, Clank. We Yomki are not allowed inside. Um, I this is a point of interest. I'm supposed to meet somebody here. So Stanix across the street. Talk to the owner of the Red Queen. Fetish for everyone. You like what you see, don't you? Finally, a real match. <laughs> oh shit! I did not mean for this to happen. Get me, boys. Is that a bad guy? I can't even tell. There is a bad guy over that way. Oh, 
All because I accidentally threw a grenade. I said talk to her. What I am hearing, I am. Okay, that's that's bad. I'm sorry. I mean, I accidentally threw the grenade. So, a reload's okay here. find what looked like bomb making equipment and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding. I also found out where he might be. The red light district at a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. Alright, we're going to try this again. Except this time we're not going to throw a grenade. Fuck. She put the place here from Dominic. Right? Has he come to his senses? That's fine. No, I'll just take it off your corpse. I have enough theatrics from that vampire wretch. Master Catholic, I am the owner of the Red Queen. I make a point of knowing everything important, but you? You, I do not know. Could be I'm not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. It is important to a mother. Mom wouldn't be thrilled about me being in a place like this. Really? I can't imagine why. A good time never hurt anyone. I don't think the clients are the ones in danger of getting hurt. You're suggesting my workers aren't safe? But you don't know that. You don't know anything about my club or how I run it. I know these kinds of places breed violence. Doesn't matter where it is, Eastern Europe or Hensha. It's all the same. The Red Queen is a family business. My eldest son works the bar. The other does security upstairs. Come in on the weekend and you'll meet one of my nieces, Agnieszka. She's the late show. You see around here, nothing comes before family. I understand your family is very important to you. Does that include a kid named Dominic? Ah, I didn't think you were here for the scenery. I'm here to repay a favor. This club is my confession. People stop by, whisper in my ear. Sometimes I forgive, sometimes not. Lately, I hear one of the Diwali men wants to reconcile with me. How old-fashioned of him. He helps you out, you help him out. I take it Dominic's causing some kind of trouble. Dominic has made bad choices for himself and for his family. We have tradition to consider. So I ask you, what is the best way to get a hot-headed young man out from where he does not belong. If you know for a fact he's in over his head, why give him a choice? You go in there and you drag him out. My thoughts exactly. Not always easy though, is it? Boys can be very stubborn. Then what did you have in mind? My hands are bound by politics. You, I think, have the look of someone used to working around political matters. Perhaps you could kidnap Dominic. Sure. All right, where's Dominic now? What do you want me to do? They call it Hotel Narikala, an old Georgian joke. One of Radic's safe houses. Dominic knows we cannot interrupt a Radic's hospitality. And that's where I come in. It's heavily guarded, I assume. <laughs> and surveillance systems, alarms. This is the boy. So I sneak into this building, find Dominic, tell him he's expected back home. No. You get in, you incapacitate Dominic. You bring him out and leave him in a cozy storage locker. 
No one can see any of this happen. You want me to knock this guy out and drag him through a building full of Radish's men, undetected? You're kidding, right? Where I am from, abduction of the bride was a time-honored custom. So you think of this as an act for equality? Uh. You'll know Dominic by his tattoo. Do not bring me the wrong man. That'll be interesting. Alright, but that'll be something we'll save. We'll do that later today, maybe. Let's do um let's do the other mission for now, the main mission we were on. These boys bore me. You look interesting. Hey, I'm a citizen! I have rights! You cannot defend me without charging me! This I know! And I know you're gonna sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I wouldn't even know where to start. You have the wrong man. Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No. Those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You are right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child. Gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites! And, and now, now, they have taken her! You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... she was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her, and now they intend to make her disappear! Your apartment was booby-trapped by Radich Nikoladze. What? Why would he...? I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man, but my shop is well-known and respected. Radich liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison, so we strike a deal. Deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goons showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will! I mean, I'll be honest, I think I'm a lot more qualified to hunt down your daughter than you are. But he has a daughter, Allison, ex-military EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. 
The agents are bringing him in. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him. See what he knows. Good. Let me know what happens. Alright. Well, we're going to wrap this one up for now. Uh, the episode later today, though... Screw Miller's apartment. I totally want to go kidnap this guy. Uh, so anyway, thanks for coming on by, guys. And we will catch you a little bit later with another part.